Hi, I'm Dr. Raphael Darvish with Skin Packable Dermatology and Cosmetic Laser Center here in Los Angeles, California. And today I'm going to be speaking with you about how to cure sweaty palms. Sweaty palms is a very annoying problem for those people who have them. Uh, most of us have shaken the hands of somebody with sweaty palms and it's uncomfortable for both parties to really have those sweaty palms. So there's a few very good options out there uh, for the treatment of sweaty palms. Uh, there are some topical preparations that work okay. Uh, most people use them and uh, really don't like them very much, but they're available. And uh, most of the time they're used for excessive sweating in the underarms, but we do use them for excessive sweating in the hands. And they do a, a fairly decent job. Uh, the main one used is dry sol. Uh, it's a 20% aluminum chloride preparation um, that is applied nightly. Uh, the second uh, option that one can do, uh, use for the treatment of sweaty palms is Botox. Most of you know Botox to treat uh, facial wrinkles, uh, but it has um, a very good uh, capability or properties to, to decrease sweating on the hands. Um, it's done via multiple injection sites, probably around one to one and a half centimeters apart. And generally we use uh, around 50 units per palm, but you can use more than that. What it will do is it will make the palm go almost bone dry in some cases. It's very impressive when it works. Um, and I would say it works most of the time. Um, we use an iodine starch kit to really uh, outline where the sweating ends because we want to really go out to the borders of where that sweating ends and sometimes it's hard to just say um, if we don't do the iodine starch uh, test ahead of time and that's just a test by which we put some uh, special powder on, uh, on the palm and once uh, the palm begins to sweat, that powder turns a, a purple uh, color. And so at that point, you know where the area of the sweating is. Um, if Botox doesn't work, and in most cases it does, Botox normally lasts around uh, six months on, on the palms in my experience, sometimes longer, sometimes less, but I'm just saying averages. Um, uh, there are two other options. One is pills, oral pills, such as anticholinergic pills. Um, but they're very poorly tolerated and uh, I don't know very many people who have had success with them because of the side effects uh, of these pills. And, uh, and lastly, there is a surgical option, uh, an option by which a surgeon goes and cuts uh, those nerves responsible for the sweating in the hands. It's called a sympathectomy. And uh, it, is a, it is a kind of a risky surgery. There are side effects that occur after very commonly and uh, these include sweating in other areas and other problems um, that, uh, that occur. So it's not, it's not a very desirable option at all. And uh, it's really reserved for those patients who have a very terrible sweating problem and who have done very poorly with uh, the other options. I'm Dr. Raphael Darvish, and that's a brief overview of how to treat sweaty palms.